Here's a collection of light bulbs. Well, I'm a light bulb collector, but of course they have to be very unusual ones, and these all are. This particular collection comes from Japan, and because they're all 110 volts, I've had to make up this little gadget to put the two in series, because my hand is holding a little 240 volt source here. But here we are. We'll put one in here, one in here. This first one's got a long filament inside, a little carbon filament, and when the current flows through it, this one waggles furiously because there's a magnet on the end. The other one, the magnet fell off, but that's all right because as we put the magnet against it, it'll start about there. That's right. It'll start to flicker madly. We take this thing off and it stops flickering. Let's try it on this side. Oh, that's nice. So the magnet on the outside of the envelope, glass envelope, influences the current flowing through the filament and makes the thing flicker madly. Look at that. It's a wonderful effect. So that's one of the five strange light bulbs. The next two are just normal round envelopes, but they've got some odd things to them. This one's called candy. This one only lights very, very low illumination with this first one, but it'll light much better with the second one. That's hardly glowing, but you'll see in a minute it's going to glow much better. This one has got a sort of silvering at the back there. But when you bring it round to face the front, you get a wonderful magnification because it's being magnified in the middle of it. It's like acting, acting like a mirror lens at the back there and creates this wonderful enlargement of the discharge. It's a kind of neo-discharge, I think, is going on in there. What an extraordinary thing. And now if we take off this one here, and the last light bulb, I think I have to change this round, actually. Yes, I've changed this round. Now we'll get this candy light to light up quite well because the last bulb allows quite a, a much, quite a large current to flow through it, and so it'll glow quite nicely. There we are. The candy light on the right there, and then this bizarre thing, which is a kind of colour spectrum, I suppose, from red through yellow to green and then blue. An extraordinary thing, isn't it? But they are 110 volts, which is a bit of a drawback, so. That's why I've had to make up this gadget, but these, these are quite extraordinary Japanese light bulbs.